Allow me to introduce myself. I am a true light worker and what has sometimes been referred to as a star seed. I am not of your world and I have little time left remaining here. Before I leave, I feel it is only fair to share some truthful information with you, which may assist you with your awakening process in preparation for what you know as the fifth dimensional frequencies of light. The knowledge I will share in this post is the truth, which I have deep personal knowledge and experience of, during my time on your planet and elsewhere. It will be painful for some people to accept my words and the knowledge I will impart today, but there are no versions of the truth, only truth itself. Over the course of my entire life, I have been targeted by the ones you refer to as the Cabal, as they attempted to prevent me from completing my mission to anchor the light here on Earth for the times we are now in, and from raising public awareness. I was raped as a child, physically beaten and verbally abused daily, this was done to try to make me forget my connection with the source energy and my non-human family. My personal relationships throughout my life were staged and sabotaged repeatedly. Members of my family and former friends have been attacked. I have single-handedly fought many battles, sometimes face to face, with many cabal organizations such as an entire government, the Freemasons, the Illuminati, the Bilderberg Group, the Men in Black, and Black Ops mercenaries. I have been the victim of energy manipulation attacks, so-called black magic, been shot twice with a scalar plasma weapon, poisoned, tortured, drugged and abducted from my home with a hood over my head. I have had many encounters with galactic beings, both benevolent and malevolent. I have been implanted several times and have had a narrow green 2.5 cm strap implanted onto my skull, which stretched from temple to temple, since then I have been incapable of visualizing anything the way I used to. I have taken part in global liberation meditations and visited ancient sacred sites to assist with the opening of energy portals and vortexes. The Cabal has many layers and secretly controls practically everything on your planet, but very few people have taken it upon themselves to truly research who and what this Cabal actually is, so I will briefly explain it to you as your species is rapidly running out of time to be ready for coming events. The Cabal are a very carefully structured organization consisting of a hierarchy, which is non-physical dark matter, or negative energy, which feeds off other negative energy. This energy has no need for any material possessions, only more energy, which is its life force. This energy has consciousness just like the non-physical light matter, or positive energy, which humans mistakenly refer to as God. In truth, there is no God per se, there is only cosmic energy. The benevolent galactic peoples will teach you this in the not too distant future, they consider the God construct as mere dogma and superstition designed to control. At the highest frequency levels, the continuous cycles of positive and negative energies, male and female, God and Goddess, are equal in number and balanced in their motion, and produce what humans refer to as love or bliss, this is the source energy. There must be cosmic balance, always. At the lower levels of the cabal structure on the earth, the negative energy consciousness controls both non-humans and humans alike, who are willing to serve its constant need for sustenance. This sustenance is derived from suffering, anger, pain, confusion, frustration, and negativity of all forms, which is why your Earth Cabal constantly promotes division, separation, conflict, and destruction. It is all about energy harvesting and this is accomplished in too many ways to mention. These non-humans and humans have infiltrated and usurped every organization on Earth, beginning with the secret societies and ancient mystery schools, and they have gradually, over time, infiltrated all governments and corporate entities, which they use to control the surface population of Earth. They are masters of deception and often hide themselves and their intentions in plain view of the people, which is something they take great pride in. The three greatest tools in their arsenal are as follows. 
The Power of Suggestion The Use of Black Magic, The Inversion and Corruption of Natural Energy The Use of Electromagnetic Technologies, For Control and Attack Purposes They are masters at creating problems and then offering solutions, providing disinformation, raising hopes, creating positive energies, and then delaying or destroying those hopes, creating negative energies, so that they can harvest these energies and maintain control, this is what they do with every action they take. The planet Earth is about to be consumed with light energies of a very high frequency, which will restore the balance initially intended by the cosmic energies during the time of creation. This is sometimes referred to as the fifth dimension, the return of the goddess energies, or the age of Aquarius, and it is the only thing every human on earth should be focused on in the present moment. The purpose of your lives on earth was to be prepared for this impending event and to have evolved spiritually enough to be able to cope with the influx of the new energies, in other words, to be capable of integrating these energies into your physical human vessel, your body. If your attention is focused on political or financial matters in particular, then you are most likely being deceived by the cabal and are ill-prepared for what is about to occur. What is truly sad is that you are allowing this to happen and contributing to your own inevitable demise, by focusing your attention, personal energy, on your outer world instead of your inner world, which is your true purpose in this lifetime, to awaken, in order to achieve the required level of awareness to successfully evolve spiritually. As a great being of consciousness, Carl G. Jung, once correctly stated, he who looks outside, dreams, he who looks inside, awakens. There is currently much focus in your world on what you call the revaluation and global currency reset, and other such things, but these are simply constructs of the cabal. They need you to focus your energies on these things in order to ensure their survival. They are deceiving you by coaxing you into focusing your attention onto the outer world of illusion, instead of on your inner world of reality, where the divine spark of life itself resides. Repeatedly, they have provided you with disinformation from nameless sources through intel gurus who are very skilled in the art of deception, many of whom are being deceived themselves, only for this information to bear no fruit. The reason it consistently bears no fruit is because it is false and carries a hidden negative energy, which cannot survive in the newer positive energy mass now sweeping over your planet. This will continue until you cease giving it your attention, your energy, without which, it will simply dissolve and cease to exist. Save yourselves and your loved ones by detaching from the carefully crafted circus being shown to you and trust in the universal energies from the higher realms without fear of the unknown. There are many good men and women working tirelessly behind the scenes to try to liberate your planet at present, and none of them are permitted to provide any information relating to the true state of affairs in your world today. The Cabal do not want you to know or believe this. They want you to continue looking outwards towards their carefully orchestrated plans and false information because they wish to take as many of you down with them at the moment of their inevitable demise. They simply cannot exist in fifth dimensional frequencies, and they know this. You may not physically die, for in truth there is no death, but their intention is for your frequencies to be sufficiently lowered that your sense of self and your ability to trust and reason will be so badly damaged, that you will have great difficulty accepting the actual truth when it is revealed to you. There is only the higher perspective, everything else is illusory. The purpose of the upcoming event, no times or dates for which will ever be provided or leaked, is to implement total transparency, honesty, peace on earth, and create equality for all. Anything less will not be permitted. The creation of elitist groups of people with vast wealth to help humanity is a cabal concept and will not come to pass. Deals between countries with regard to wealth and the continued mining of oil, gas, fossil fuels, gold, silver, and other precious minerals, which is simply the rape of planet Earth, 
who is a living being in her own right, are cabal control concepts, unnecessary and will similarly not come to pass. Creating distractions for the innocent victims of global cabal abuse while simultaneously displaying favoritism for others through the exchanging of currencies who are expected to keep these exchanges a secret, is deceptive, unequal, and very cabal, people who keep secrets must always tell lies. Incidentally, the currencies being exchanged are your divine personal energies which the cabal desperately need to survive, after all, Colored pieces of paper with letters and numbers printed on them are worthless, and deep in your hearts you know this. Human beings have endured thousands of years of deception, wars, abuse, poisoning, the destruction of their planet and the countless murders of innocents. They can handle all of these things, but yet you are being told that they cannot handle being informed about a new financial system? The new energies of the age of Aquarius will not permit power over others under any circumstances, so people who continue to allow their own personal divine energies to be manipulated in the current trend will experience a very great shock to their being at the time of the event, or the moment of surrender, be it consciously or subconsciously experienced. Your species has a lot to learn in a very short space of time but it is not too late. Detach yourselves totally from the Cabal's last desperate attempts to combat the cosmic energies and trick you into further separation from Source and Self with their believable lies. You each have free will, why don't you try using it for once? I post this today with love, to try to be of some assistance to people who are still locked inside the last stages of the illusion and to help those who seek a little comfort and reassurance within the current energies, which are being stirred up within themselves for recognition and release. I hope my words are of some use to somebody, somewhere. I will not be responding to any replies from the lower vibrations accusing me of being negative or a cabal agent, or other such nonsense intended to judge me or cause me harm. I have already forgiven all of my attackers for all the pain and suffering they so deliberately and consciously caused me throughout my life on earth. If someone reading this would like me to post again, I will see what I can do, but I will not be drawn into arguments or discussions related to non-spiritual truthful matters. Peace and love, and be. Next article. Response to Starseed Releasing and the Purpose of the Upcoming Event by Kelly. This post struck a truth nerve for me. I've been thinking this for a while. That maybe this revaluation is a diversion from the real issues. Many of us drawn to this are of the light. The author is a star seed who had a very stressful life here on Earth. I can think of no reason why this posting would be false, since if I stop looking for the revaluation, if it is going to happen, it will happen regardless. I will hear about it. But lately I have been feeling a need to go within, so I do. I just look up with my eyes closed and stare upwards. Not sure what to do. I just listen for something and ask for the truth, but nothing happens. The other night I was doing this and it was at night in a totally dark room. The room began lightening up, like I could see, but my eyes were closed. I even squeezed them tighter just to check if they were open or closed. But it was not super clear. Then I saw a dark shadow type being, no clothes, kind of like the description of a grey, but about six feet tall with a nondescript face, no real features, maybe just darkness around the eyes. It kept coming over to me as I lay on the bed, and leaning over me, as if to check if my eyes were open. Then it would walk away, but then come back and check on me again. It was as if it could sense I was seeing but I was not letting on. I finally opened my eyes and it was still actually dark in the room. I saw nothing else and it hasn't happened since. I was not afraid. In fact I punched the air where it once leaned over me, not seeing any more but wanting to send a message of no fear. I feel like I really know nothing. All the previous early years of church indoctrination, gone. I am not sure now. 
Is the Earth flat or round? Were we really on the Moon? Is Nibiru coming closer? Is the revaluation real? I've been in this 15 years. Every day reading, like a drug I need to take. But something is speaking to me and I need to know my answers, not have someone dictate them to me. This author said something that I have been secretly thinking and pushing aside into the farthest reaches of my mind. Thank you for sharing this with us. I would like to hear your thoughts again. I have a question for you, how should I be going within? What am I asking for other than truth? How do I hear the answers? I know nothing anymore. So many lies, arguments, half-truths, truths interspersed with untruths. I am starving for true knowledge. How can mankind truly move forward?